Okay, so um, TLDR for those of you that don't really want to go um, hold up, L let me mute that. For those of you that don't really want to um, go and watch the entire video, Amelia is looking really, really, really bad. Her entire reason is because of that, you know, decreased charge speed. Any team synergy that she had with a bunch of you know supporters that could have helped her with her damage is now out the window. Um, I timed it. I also looked at the burst. It was well over five seconds before she released that thing. Um, well, not well over. It was a little bit over five seconds before she released it. So um, the burst ones, like litter and volume that buff up by five seconds, those aren't going to help. And she's not going to be able to be paired with the best water um, support in the entire game, which is Mary Bay Goddess. She is the best water support unit in the entire game. This chick, she, um, if you like max out her, uh, I can't talk, if you max out her abilities, she will actually perform better when paired with a water DPS than most other, you know, supports in the game. I believe the last time I tried it, I believe that she did do more for Ludmilla in terms of damage than Litter did. It was impressive. And that's because of the way that her like, buffs work. They're really, really, really good for, you know, other water units. Now we're getting to Ram. <laughs> she's absolutely insane. She's a must pull. I don't know what the heck they were thinking. She's crazy. Um, she's absolutely insane. She is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, get her. <laughs> okay um yeah um that was the tldr um i do have a lot of um you know in-depth stuff in the video and i do also go into teams and stuff but that was the tldr all right let's get back to the video yo what is up youtube back again here you know bringing y'all some more nikkei goddess of victory content and i know i have been you know slacking on the re-zero stuff there's two reasons for that. One, like I said in the last video, I don't really care for Subaru. He ruined the entire anime for me. The MC is there's a lot of things I there's a lot of things I want to say about him, uh, but I'm not going to because if I start, I'm going to be here for a while. So um, I'm not I'm not going to go off on Subaru. But just know I don't like the MC. That's the main reason. You know I haven't really been hyped for this collab. But the second reason I haven't been covering everything as soon as it releases is because... Whoa, okay. <laughs> My ringtone always goes off in these videos, man. I always forget to put it on vibrate. But yeah, the second reason is because, honestly, I just wanted to see how a video would do if I just compiled everything instead of releasing one, two, three, four, five, six different videos over the same thing. I'm like, and let me just wait until it's all out, then I can just put it all in one video, see how it does. Yeah, um, you may also notice I have the theme from Miracle Snow in the background instead of my normal, um, I believe I normally use Voices of the Sea from Blue Water Island from that playlist. I love that song. That is like, the best song to just chill to in Nike. But I really wanted to mix it up and I love Miracle Snow. It is my favorite event in the game. A lot of people are like, um, Overzone is the best one. I think that, okay. In terms of story, like, okay. I, I classify events as two, no, in two separate ways. I classify some events as story. Uh, um, like a story events like a red ash and overzone a red ash i would give a solid seven or eight overzone i would give a, a 10 out of 10 for story um i think that it's an amazingly well done event but miracle snow was the most enjoyable for me in terms of just you know the categories it's story and and just fun nike events and honestly the one that's in the fun Nikkei events that I enjoyed the most is Miracle Snow, which is why I have that song playing in the background. I just really, really, really like the event. But yeah, um, I've gone off about that for like at least a minute. Let's get back to this. Yeah, um, this is coming on the 21st, I believe. 
if I converted that to UTC, no, from UTC to Central Time here in the United States, I believe Central Time is seven hours. Hold up. <laughs> UTC to CST. Okay. Five hours ahead. Okay, what about UTC plus nine? I thought it was five hours. Dude, I'm so confused. <laughs> this one says six hours. Let me check one more. This one says five, so I think I want to go for five, right? This one says six. What the heck? <laughs> Dude. Oh, okay, this is, okay. Well, let's just go for either five or six in that case. So five hours would be at five. Six hours would be at six. But that's, no, that's UTC plus nine. So that would be nine minus five or six. So two or three. No. I'm wrong. <laughs> Four or five. All right? No. Four or three. Yeah, there we go. Goodness gracious. My mind had it just had the biggest freaking brain fart. But yeah, um, it's either... um. Okay, hold up. It's either four or three. It should be either four or three here from then until either 10 or 11. Is this one of those ones that we have the maintenance in the middle of the day instead of at night? That would be interesting because it doesn't specify, but I think that this is military time. So I think it should be at night, but it may be in the middle of the day. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, you should be getting it around 10, 11, either a.m. or p.m. If you, you know, live in the central time zone of the U.S. If not, then um, I'm sure that you can convert it uh, if you live in the U.S. If you don't live in the U.S., you're probably somewhere in the UTCs, so it'll be way easier for you. But yeah, um, I wanted to go over the skins first. Amelia's costume, I will say... Eh, it's hmm. like I'm I'm looking at this one and I genuinely think this one just looks better. This one just looks better. It does. It looks cuter and everything. Of course, this one will change her burst, and her burst, in my opinion, from what I've seen, isn't really that strong. I have not checked out Ren, but I did check out Amelia. <clears throat> Let me just say I'm very disappointed, but we're going to get to that later. Amelia looks very interesting, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, This outfit is not bad. It's not good. I mean, <laughs> it covers up more than both of her other outfits, but it genuinely does look like a better made outfit. Just in general. This one isn't really a maid outfit. It's more like casual. But for like a maid outfit, this is probably the best one of the entire patch. This is not worth $60. The same way that Noise's um, Diva skin was not worth like $60. Noise's burst was amazing. Everything outside of her burst was just really mid. But her burst looked amazing. If you, if you removed her burst... That was a maybe I maybe would have paid thirty dollars for that skin. Maybe thirty-five. Because it, you know, changes the way that she looks. But that wasn't a that wasn't a, a sixty dollar skin and neither is this. Um We're gonna have to see how her burst looks. Um she's wearing AIDS outfit. I mean it's it's nothing new. If you want a look like this, just use aid. Like the only reason why you would buy this is if you wanted her burst animation. 
All right. Now I'm looking at this one. This one is free. And honestly, it looks really nice. Um, from what I've seen, both of these units are covered. So this will cover a, a little bit less, but it should still cover everything that you want to see. In my opinion, I don't really mind because, like I said, I don't really care if like, they're ReZero characters. But I know that the ReZero fans that are also in the UK fans are probably going to be pretty upset that we don't see anything. But yeah, um, I, there's not going to be any fan service out of any of these costumes. I can tell you that right now. Um, that's just It's just not the kind of IP that ReZero is. If ReZero did a collab with Nikkei and they allowed, you know, Nikkei to Nikkei I their characters, nah, <laughs> they wouldn't be looked at the same um, by the ReZero community anymore. So, so I can understand why they're doing it. It's to maintain the dignity and the look that they've built of these characters, you know, in a pre-existing way. But this outfit looks amazing. Now, moving on to this one. In terms of paid outfits, if you compare, you know, Amelia's $60 skin to this one, which is $20, this one is way better. It's way better. So good. I really like it. I didn't really mind Rem or Ram and ReZero. Amelia, eh, I mean, I didn't really hate her, but I didn't really like her. A Subaru, I just hated. But uh, Rem and Ram, I actually pretty, you know, I liked them a lot. <laughs> When Subaru, you know, refused Rem and was like, I love Amelia. I was like, thank you so much. I do not want you with her. <laughs> I I genuinely thought, nah, dude, I hate you as a person. And, and you know, I really like these characters. I do not want you with these characters. <laughs> so I'm glad that he's going after Amelia, at least. I mean, I, I really just... I really dislike that man but yeah uh, this this outfit looks really nice this one in my opinion this is the laziest skin in the game i'm just gonna come out and say it this is the laziest skin in the entire game it looks nice but they already had the entire design <laughs> they just had to draw it over like they just had to draw it over her model honestly and they just had to to like resize some stuff and like draw it over for like proportions but everything was already there that's like um going and getting a picture of jocko and then drawing jocko's outfit over someone like i don't know yan it's not going to be too hard you have the entire design right there <laughs> you can literally just copy it onto the character you know this is like, I mean, it's not bad, but the green and her blue, it just, it, it, it doesn't really look good together. The green combined with the blue, it just, it doesn't really look that good, if I'm being honest. It clashes a lot. I don't, I don't like it. Pink is a lot subtler. Subtler? <laughs> Pink is a lot subtle. Pink is a lot more subtle of a color. There you go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I am not, you know, saying that correctly. Yeah, and, and this one looks really nice. I like it. This one's not awful. In terms of free skins, Amelia has the better one. In terms of paid skins, Rem has the better one. Which is funny. <laughs> That's exactly how it was with 2B and A2, in my opinion. I think that A2's, you know, I'm not sure if it's a kimono or if it's a yukata or what it would be. But um, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say kimono. A2's kimono looked better than 2B's, in my opinion, and it was for $20. So, it was a very, very, very easy buy. And it seems to be the same case. Um, 2B had, you know, the better free outfit, in my opinion, and uh, A2 had the better paid skin, and it seems to be the same case with Amelia and Ram. All right. Now, really quickly... Let's go and look at these characters. I have looked at them briefly, but I haven't really, you know, looked at their video in depth. I looked at their video a little bit. Oh my gosh. Is that the highest quality that it gets to? That's gross. But yeah, um, I, I looked at them a little bit, but I didn't really look at them in depth. I saw both of their bursts and I saw, um, 
Amelia's skill kit. But um, I saw the paragraphs for Rems, and I'm like, okay, I think I want to react to this, you know, on video. <laughs> so. I should mute. Okay, hold up. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> this frame looks really nice with with um Rupee's eyes. If I'm being honest, um this frame is just better. <laughs> and, and this frame just looks way better on like every single character. Why did I take off her gotcha skin? Let me go put that back on real quick. And then we'll go to the re-zero stuff right after. Hopefully me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, hold up. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Alright. Dude, this looks awful. What the heck? I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. Let's see if, if we can get a higher resolution. There we go. Nope, it went right back. Oh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Also, this looks really weird. That looks really weird. It's just floating in her hand, or floating <laughs> in front of her hand. Um, it, it, it looks so weird. It looks really weird. And why not just, you know, have her make the ice from her hands then? If that's what you wanted to do. That looks a little weird to me. And by a little weird, I mean really, really, really weird. This is all the evidence that I need to know that the freaking collab was rushed. This is all the evidence that I need to know that the freaking collab was rushed. And she has the exact same animations as Rapunzel. The exact same animations as Rapunzel. They just, you know, put Amelia's assets over Rapunzel's. She has the exact same animations. We've never really, like, we've never seen that from a collab character ever. And, it, and this is, and people trying to tell me that this is not a rush collab is crazy. This is the most rush collab I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. Okay. And yeah, uh, that shriek was crazy. That was crazy high. <laughs> Like I said, I don't dislike and I don't like Amelia. So I don't really care for this. It looks nice. It's not it's not worth ML being. It's not, in my opinion. It looks see, if you really, 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 really like Amelia. It's, you know. It's not bad. Um that that burst that we just saw, I wanna bring up something real quick after we look at the kit. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna put on the music real quick. Boom. All right, here we go. You already see this. <laughs> okay. I have to cut that out so that, you, you know, um, I guess you guys don't get spoiled for my thoughts, but yeah. Um, she's a water you, uh, she's a water, nuke unit from what I've seen and I will explain why that's not the best okay um she's an attacker she okay is a rocket launcher burst three water that's pretty good she has all of the standard rocket launcher stuff all of that is pretty standard 250 percent 200 percent one second yeah two seconds okay the reload time does vary on some rocket launchers but the but like every other stat is just, it is it, it is the same. It is unfortunate. If they really, 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 really wanted to make her crazy, all that they would have had to do was give her the Alice treatment. Make this, instead of 250, make this 350. And then y'all would have been cooking. If, if y'all really wanted to make her crazy, just make that 350. Just give her the Alice treatment. Like it... That's all that she really needed. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like go off on that because, like I said, I will be here 
forever because I could go off on tangents for a long time. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just get back on track. All right, effects no activates when attacking with full charge. Effects self charge speed up by thirteen point one no point zero one percent for for one round. The charge the full charge thing that's a uh, that's so the that's so you can't just spam it a scarlet black shadow has that exact same thing right hold up i don't know why the heck i looked that up i meant to type in pry there we go pry i think she does i'm not sure it's full chart yep when Yes. Be, see, they realized people can very easily get around their their anti-macro thing that they like implemented for Alice. It's very easy to get around it or to claim that it was, you know, false when it wasn't false. So they're like, how the heck do we go around that then? They're going to make units with full charges. They don't like it when you guys cheat, <laughs> and they're and they're showing it. So now she will just be ob objectively worse if she's not full charging. Okay. Activates when attacking with full charge. Wait, wait, I did not finish this one. Charge damage up by two point zero one percent for every unit in the final max ammo capacity. Okay, this is good. The more ammo she holds the more charge damage she gets. Sounds like she wants as much max ammo as you can possibly give her, and as much charge speed and damage as you can possibly give her. Okay. Activates when attacking with full charge. Deals fixed damage to the main body. Okay, so it hits twice. So, say that you hit the core, it'll, do, um, it'll deal core damage, and it'll also deal main body damage. That's not bad. It's not exceptional but it's not bad especially if it you know hits every single time you do a full, um a full charge i cannot talk i need to slow down activates when entering full burst affects self max ammo capacity up by three rounds okay just so you get an additional six percent of charge damage just for yeah for activating her thing burst this is the thing that i have a problem with Explosion range up by 101. No, yeah, 101.24 percent for 10 seconds. That's not bad. It's like a two, but a little bit worse. Wait, wait. I'll tell you why it's worse. Decreased charging speed and increased charge damage for one shot. This is the part that really just kills her entire kit. Charge speed down by 300% for one charge. Charge damage up by 1,353, no, 1,300.53% for one charge. The minus 300% is what's killing her kit. If she did not have that, she would work with, um, with, um, Mary Bay Goddess. I will tell you why here in a second. Um, but yeah, um, her burst is just a worse version of this. Attack, charge speed, and then you lose HP. But at least you get the attack and charge speed consistently. This, you get the explosion range for 10 seconds, and then you get one just nuke. But l and let me tell you why the nuke sucks. No, okay. Let's mute this so I don't have to go back in game for a second. Okay. Give me a minute to get the timer open. Okay, you know, the stopwatch open. Okay, hold up now. Okay, starting it now. Okay, actually, I didn't even need to do that. It's right up here. <clears throat> but it took around six seconds for that shot to be fired. That's outside of Litter's buff. 
that's outside of, you know, Mary Bay Goddesses buffs. That's outside of so many things. You can't really buff her damage with any, you know, with any damage dealer because that 300% is absolutely killing her freaking it is killing her charge time. It is absolutely murdering it. Why? Um, I'm not sure if you guys realized, uh, but um, from what I've tested, out of all of the characters in the game, the best character for this chick right here, the best buffer in the entire game for her is Mary Bay Goddess. See, I've always, you know, been an advocate that she just needs more water DPSs and she could be crazy good. But, uh, yeah, um, she has all uh, of the standard stuff. She has an insane amount of healing. She has, honestly, um, if I think, if I remember correctly, she has the best heals in the entire game. In, in terms of pure healing, she will out heal. She will out heal any other healer in the entire game. And this is it. For three seconds, you get this. For five seconds, you get this. Amelia is going to be missing out on both of these buffs, and she's also going to, she's she's also going to be missing out on the attack. For the first three seconds after she activates this, let me tell you something. <laughs> after she activates her burst skill, for the first three seconds, every single water unit on the team is going to be a freaking machine, especially if they deal a bunch of damage. Which is why Brid is really good when paired with Bay Goddess Mary. Because what she needs to be is um, she needs to be at max HP. But when she's at max HP, she'll get that. She'll get all of those crazy buffs. And she'll also be able to, to unleash both of these. Her nuke becomes an absolute freaking detonation machine. It hits so hard, it is crazy. The best buffer for water units in the game, I believe, is Summer Mary. I believe that she um out-supports Litter for water units by a little bit. By a little bit. But yeah, she is absolutely insane. Amelia can't take advantage of that. Because of this freaking charge speed of... Um, charge speed down she can't take advantage of that so it's like if you wanted to run a water nuke unit just build and run brid she is going to be a way better water nuke unit because she'll be able to take advantage of summer mary's buffs amelia can't do that she can't that's really the problem the charge speed down is the problem if they get rid of that She'll be way, way, way better. If they just get rid of this, or maybe make it 100%, and then turn this to 350%, she'll probably be meta. I doubt that they'll do that. But yeah. Um, hmm. Now, moving over to Rem. Now, like I said, I'm going to go mute the game for a second. All right. Let's check out Rem. Oh, the awful quality is back. Gross. Dude, what the actual heck? There we go. It's better at least. Yeah, like I said, we're not going to see anything in this collab. Her weapon looks cool. I was ex I was hoping for like a different sound. Um. Also, um, I was watching a Tamias video and he pointed out that these lines are very rushed and they're very rough around the edges and now that's all i can see on her weapon her weapon looked so cool before and now all that i can see is the hastily drawn lines but i did see in her kit that she has a paragraph she has a freaking paragraph of text either that will be the burst screen Oh, that's so sick. Or, or it will be, or it will be that. It will either be this. Oh, or it could be that. 
It'll be this. It'll probably be this. Oh, that'll be a really nice burst screen. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like I said, I don't really care for ReZero, but her burst screen has some serious freaking potential, dude. That'll be a crazy burst screen. <laughs> it's not, you know, sexy at all, but it's freaking badass. And I do like the effect of the horn as well. I do like that. It's fun. All right. I have not looked at this yet. People are, you know, I did look at the comments briefly. I didn't look at them long enough to get spoiled, but I did look at the comments. The comments are saying that, that she's going to be absolutely insane. So I'm thinking that she'll be absolutely insane. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not, you know, looking over her stuff. I'm just I'm looking at the amount of freaking words that she got. Like, that's insane. <laughs> okay, um, supporter, LMG, burst two in water. Burst two is a very, very, very heavy, um, well, it's a very competition-heavy burst. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Burst one has like the least competition. Burst two is where you probably are going to be getting most of your like utility, like from Blanc and Naga, you know, <laughs> or maybe a, some CDR and stuff like that. But yeah, um. Burst 2 is normally a very heavily utility focused burst. So let's see. Ammo capacity up. No. Not up. Ammo capacity 300%. Reload time 2.5. Okay, that's pretty standard. 5.57 of attack. 200. Okay, yeah. Nothing crazy there. Standard machine gun stuff. You know? Okay, activates after landing 15 normal attacks in Demon's Breath status. Okay. Hold on. Really quickly, I'm going to go look at what Demon's Breath is. Oh, it's in her burst. Affects self. Critical rate up by 37.8% for 10 seconds. Okay. So for 10 seconds. Activates after landing 50 normal attacks in Demon's Breath status. Affects self. Attack up. What the heck? <laughs> that is... No! That is insane. What the heck? 4.22% for... Sex 30 times for 10 seconds? What the heck? I think that'll all I think that'll all, already push her over the edge. She's already stronger than Amelia. Just from that alone, right? That's crazy. Um, okay. Activates when using burst skill. Affects all allies. Shares HP recovery for 10 seconds. Where's the HP? Maybe it's in her skill too, because I see like the healing ability there. Shares HP recovery for 10 seconds. Okay. Affects all allies when using the burst skill. Activates when entering battle. Um, affects self. Recovers 42.24% of attack damages HP continuously. Huh? <laughs> what? Um, uh, the... Huh? <laughs> That is insanity! Dude. Activates when entering battle. Affects self and two rocket launcher wielding allies with the highest attack. Okay. Okay. Did not mean to do that. Rocket launchers. Okay. A2. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Okay. That's insane. She doesn't have the damage support for Scarlet, but she has the healing for A2.
Okay. We already did the Demon's Breath, you know. It's it's crit rate, it's pretty good. Affects all allies with the rocket launcher. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here's here's where the damage is gonna be, isn't it? <laughs> Attack oh, of course. <laughs> Attack up by 50.78% of Caster's attack for 10 seconds. Max ammo capacity up for- Oh my gosh! She is a machine! And I'm not saying that because she has a machine gun. She is a machine. She is cracked! What the heck? So constant healing. And a bunch of damage support. As a burst too- Nah, this is crazy. Of course, you're you're gonna have to run um a, a CDR burst one, and unfortunately, most oh actually no because now volume is freed up, so it can be volume, rem, a two, and scarlet black shadow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? That covers everything in a team. Healing. CDR. Damage support. Damage. The only thing that you're really missing is like a tank slash like a taunt unit. But if the heals are strong enough, you don't need that. This unit is absolutely insane. I was about to say, what cooldown is she? If she's 20 seconds, then she's broken. She's 20 seconds. She's broken. Oh my gosh, she is, this is, nah, um, hold up, hold up, nah, 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 nope, mm -mm. um, <laughs> abnormal. Power, she's better than power. Pascal, she's better than Pascal. Makima, she's better than Makima. Himeno, she's better than Himeno. A2, she's better than, sh no, she's better than A2. 2B. Tubi has some serious potential to be better, but she just does not have the HP supports at the moment. She's better than Tubi at the moment. She's better than Amelia. She is the best abnormal character that we've ever seen in this entire game. This is crazy. This is absolutely... Nah, dude. Oh my gosh. What am I looking at? What? <laughs> what? Dude. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't think that they would be able to do it. I did not think that they would ever be able to make a meta abnormal character because this unit is actually invaluable. Everyone should get this unit. I'm going to be honest. If Even if you absolutely hate ReZero, Rem is absolutely insane. What the heck am I looking at? Heals, damage support. She has an insane amount of damage herself. Insane amounts of damage herself. That is abna, dude. What the heck? This unit is insane. This unit is insane. <laughs> this unit is insane. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Nah, dude. She is crazy. She, nah. Oh my gosh. She is absolutely insane. What the heck am I looking at? I've been saying that for the past two minutes just staring at her. What the heck? Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. She's a must pull. Oh my gosh. If you have to get only one character from this collab, it's her. She is the best abnormal character that we've ever seen in the entire game. Oh my gosh, this is insane. <laughs> Dude. What the heck? And I assume that they don't have the... Yeah. And, ah, they haven't filled her out either. But yeah, this is insane. What the heck? She's busted. Nah, dude, she's busted. Uh... <laughs> I mean, she has to be with rocket launchers, but honestly, if I'm being honest, there's, n yeah, there's no one there. There's some crazy freaking rocket launchers. 
um defenders supporters yeah dude there's no one there all right yeah uh, oh my gosh a2 is absolutely insane literally her only problem is that she dies so fast because of her like freaking like hp drain so you have to like put her up with like rapunzel or something like that scarlet black shadow doesn't really need the heals but but i mean she's not gonna she's not gonna complain about it yeah okay okay we just okay that is our fourth team for solo raid there is three definitive teams for like for solo raid um tia and naga give you a lot of you know core damage buffs and core damage goes really 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 well with piercing so a lot of people like running red hood and alice together on that team and then you have the bunnies which give you a crap ton of ammo and now that litter's going to be on there even more ammo so you like running machine gun units with or minigun units with them and normally Moderna likes to be off rotation so you put her off rotation and then you put ludmilla there because she's absolutely insane with solo bosses that core damage that she gets on top of all that freaking all of that freaking extra ammo is absolutely insane so th so that's the, the second team litter the bunny and then those two and then normally it's just a last bullet fired unit i mean um a last bullet fire team and the last bullet fire team is absolutely insane you have um hold up you have da -da -da. dorothy and then you have marciana for the heels because marciana has an insane amount of an insane amount of survi survivability And then you have, um, obviously, you have Privity here to enable all, all of the last bullet fired. You have Anise here, because she's absolutely insane. And then, uh, like, <sighs> the best way to capitalize off of this team's buffs is to get someone that can capitalize off of Anise's buffs. So, ideally, someone like an electric unit, because Anise buffs other uh, electric units. So someone like Scarlet, maybe. Um, if you don't have Scarlet, Guillotine or Privity could work. Okay. And now that fourth and fifth team have always been a little shaky. But now we have a oh my gosh, this is this is insanity. We have an actual fourth team solidified. Volume to get that crit up and to also get the um the cdr which is what she's there for rem because she's absolutely freaking insane i don't know what the heck they were thinking but <laughs> and then after that um a2 scarlet black shadow because this is kind of crazy That last scene is a little tricky, though. They're not going to really be getting any buffs. So it's probably going to be a utility-focused one. Hmm. For that fifth and final unit, you... Like I said, she's only going, she's only going to be buffing... Um, um... Well, actually, no, that's not true. Yeah, you can have a third rocket launcher unit. You, you can have a third rocket launcher unit. Maybe Laplace. Because this is there whenever the burst is inactivated. And the burst is going to be activated for most of the for most of the battle since he's a 20 second burst too. Maybe Laplace. Power. Vesti maybe even. <laughs> but yeah, just someone else that can take advantage of this. That's your fourth team. A crap ton of healing. Crap ton of freaking damage support. CDR from volume and just freaking build off of that support. That is insane. Okay. Wow. Um, they made her busted. <laughs> I think I just spent the last 10 minutes talking about Rem and Rem alone. Uh, this girl's crazy. Summon on her. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, 
like, share, comment, all that jazz would be very, very, very much appreciated. All right. Um, it's been fun. I appreciate y'all coming out and, you know, watching the video up to this point. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs> all right. This girl is crazy.